Good day, I'm Abiola, and this is my school channel. Right there, you're going to join me to walk through the topic progressions, right? So we're going to look at different types of progression, arithmetic, geometric, harmonic, and the likes. All right, as well, we're going to look at the several formulas or different formulas that are required when it comes to operations in progressions, right? We're going to consider sequences, series, and several terminologies that you should be applicable with. All right, so do not go anywhere, stay with us, and we will be right back. YouTube learning channel so right there we have the topic progressions on the algebra all right so at first what is progression or what are progressions right typically we can use interchangeably you know you can use the word uh, pattern so you can use the word sequence to replace progression so you are just looking at something that follows a particular rule right so uh, how would you describe these terminologies or define these terminologies so we have sequence we have series first time common difference common ratio apgp and the likes okay so we have sequence so sequence is actually a list a sequence is a list of numbers right or terms right that follow a certain rule okay so like for instance if i have this sequence if i have two four six eight so we can see the certain rule here is that the difference between this and this and this and this they're actually the same thing all right so we can see that's a sequence there's a certain rule guiding this expression all right so we have a series now series is actually a sequence whose term these are term first term second term third term fourth term so whose terms are actually connected with the plus sign so it's actually a added sequence a series is a added sequence so instead of having commas this is what i should have this 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 do we see that so that's what make a series so we have first term now first term is actually the first number or the first item in a particular sequence all right in a particular arrangement so this is the first term right here okay this is the second term the third term and the fourth term like i mentioned earlier so we have common difference now the common difference is actually that value okay that um, when you add it or you subtract it right from a particular sequence or from terms in a particular sequence right you should actually get that progression that you're looking for so if you look at this what is the difference between these terms in this sequence so you look at we have two four okay let me remove this so that it will be more relatable so look at this so how do i find the common difference okay so i will just say the second term minus the first term or the third term minus the second term the fourth term minus the so you can see so the difference now be 4 minus 2 that is 2 so that is if i add 2 to the previous item right it's going to give me the next or the consequent uh, item right the consecutive item so look at this 2 plus 2 that is 4 4 plus 2 that is 6 6 plus 2 that is 8 so to get the next item i have to add this common difference to the previous one which is 8 plus 2 that makes 10 so 10 plus 2 that make 12 do we see that now so common difference that value all right okay by which um, a particular sequence increases or decreases all right so we now have common ratio now common ratio is just like the common difference but the only uh, thing that separates them or that is these things between these two is that in common ratio you are actually multiplying that particular value okay with the previous item okay to get the next item online okay so let's come to ap gp and the like so right here we are looking at still under terminologies we're also going to consider the different types of progression or different types of sequences that we should know okay that we should relate with so at first we have the ap we have the gp we have other ones as well that we're going to talk about as we move further in the video so we have ap which means arithmetic progression all right so that is actually a type of sequence or a type of progression whereby the terms there they increase or they decrease right by a constant amount and that constant amount is the common difference okay so you can see this particular ap now this particular progression you can see they increase all right or they decrease by a constant amount and that amount is this and you can see that makes them consecutive do we say that now so we now have gp okay so in gp now you are looking at a, a kind of sequence as well whereby the times they increase or decrease right by 
a particular constant, which is the common ratio. All right. So for me to get, let me view, let me view the sequence for you. So for me to a GP for you rather. So I have three, I have nine, I have twenty-seven, I have eighty-one. Now look at this. So look at this is a GP. Okay, so for me to get the next item or the next term, I will have to multiply the common ratio by the previous term. So 3 times 3, that means 9. Okay, so that common ratio is 3. So 3 times 9, that is 27. So do we see that now? So that is GP. So in GP, the, the difference, okay, or the difference between the terms, right, is actually the common ratio. So for me to get the next item, I have to do multiplication. All right, so to get back the previous item, I have to do division by that constant value. Okay, so uh, that is for arithmetic progression, geometric progression. We have other progressions as well, like the harmonic progression. You know, the harmonic progression is just the um, reciprocal of the terms in an AP. So this is an AP, right? So for me to build the harmonic version of this, I will just say 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 1 over 6, 1 over 8. So it's just the reciprocal of the terms in an AP. We see that's right here. So we have other ones like the Fibonacci kind of progression. Okay, right there. Let me give you an instance. If I have something like this. Okay, so look at this. Now in Fibonacci, we have to add the two previous terms together to get the next term. So see what I mean. To get this, I would say 1 plus 0, that means 1. Right? 1 plus 1, that is 2. To get the next item to be 2 plus 1, to give me a 3, to get the next item, that will be 3 plus 2, that will be 5. Okay, so we have other types of progressions like the triangular, the square, the cube, and the likes. Okay, so let's look at some comparisons, some kind of comparisons, right, between AP and GP, arithmetic progression and geometric progression. So if we are required to find the nth term, right, of a particular AP, we can use this formula a plus n minus 1 into bracket this. So let me explain this term. This is a1, right? This is the first term. So like for instance, in this particular expression now, if I remove this, okay, this, this is an AP. I want to return it back to being an AP. All right, so I have 2, 4, 6, 8. All right. So I have this AP right here. So if I want to find the nth term, or if I'm asked to find, okay, let's find, okay, how many terms do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I'm asked to find the fifth term here, I will just say my first term, which is actually 2, so it's going to look like something like this, 2, right, plus, what term am I looking for? I'm looking for the fifth term. Then what's the common difference between them? I can say 6 minus 4, 4 minus 2, 8 minus 6, that is actually 2. So I have 2 plus 5 minus 1. That is 4. 4 times 2, that is 8. So 2 plus 8, that is 10. So you can see, if I'm asked to find the next term or a particular term in an AP, arithmetic progression. So this is the formula we're going to use. So if we are looking for a particular term in a GP, this is the formula we're going to use. The first term times the common ratio. This is the symbol for the common ratio, right? Then we have the term you are asked to look for, right, minus 1. Okay, so as we go further in the video, I've prepared examples whereby we can use to better understand this concept. So, uh, we should also note uh, this, that um, a, a, an AP or a GP, right, can be finite or infinite. So, you can look at this. You can see I have this 3 dots, 1, 2, 3. So, this tells you that um, this particular sequence, right, it goes on and on. All right, there's no end to it. Okay, so, but if I now have something like this, 2, 8, and 10. So, this is a finite kind of AP. All right. So if I'm asked to find the sum of the first, so if I'm asked to find the sum of the first four terms, right, this is the formula I'm going to use for AP, right, the sum of the terms, let's say the, um, the first three terms, this is as well the formula I'm going to use. So whatever sum of terms we ask to look for, this is the sum, right, when it comes to a particular GP. So remember that when, uh, when series are added together, we refer to it as series. So sum of a series in other GP, this is what you do. Sum of series in AP, this is what you do. All right. So that's just the basic understanding. So we have other formulas as well that we can relate with or we should know. We have uh, the arithmetic mean. We have the geometric uh, mean, geometric uh, mean as well. So we have other formulas that we can use to find, you know, the in an AP, right? You want to look for some of the first um, even numbers, right? Or the first odd numbers. Of course, there are formulas, but they're the first natural numbers 
the, the first odd numbers, the first even number. So several formulas are available for that. So do not forget that you need to subscribe to have access to the full video lesson regarding the topic progression. So how do you do that? Very easy. Just click on the link in the description below. This is going to get you to the My School website. Right there, you get to have access to the subscription link, right? Where you make arrangements for subscription and you have access to this particular topic and several other topics in the subject mathematics. So, do not forget that you also need to hit the like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification for you to get alerts. Immediately, we upload the next video content just for the comfort.